This is the grade six math practice test for T and ready. Question number 22. On which number line are a number and its opposite both plotted? Now, a couple things here that you'll need to know. First off, you need to know what an opposite is. Usually, people will get the term opposite confused with reciprocal. For opposite, you're simply looking for the number that, if you add it to the original number, will give you zero. So if I have negative 3 and I add 3 to it, it gives me zero. So the opposite of a number is just the, um, it's either negative. If it's already negative, it's the positive version. If it's already positive, it's the negative version. So it's the balance. So you're looking for, say, plus or minus the number. The reciprocal really has to do with fractions. So if you have 3 over 2, the reciprocal is going to be 2 over 3. And when you multiply them, they give you 1. So it's really about um, reciprocal is more of a concept when you're multiplying and you're trying to cancel out the overall value because anything times 1 is 1, and that negates it. And for the opposite, it's more of an add-subtract relationship because if you add zero to something, it doesn't change it, so it negates it. So the opposite, we're looking for the positive and negative of one of the numbers. And then the term plot simply means that there is a point identified. Negative 3 and 2, those are not opposites because negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, so that's out. B, negative 3 and 0. Well, negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3, so that's out. C, 0 and 5, nah, 0 plus 5 is 5. And this one, negative 5 and 5. Well, if I take 5 and I uh, add negative 5, or I start at negative 5 and add 5 to it, if I go this way and this way, it'll get me back to 0. So then the answer to number 22 is D. So that's it. If you need opposite, it's just a number. If you add the two of them together, they're going to get you back to 0, which negates the, per the value of that number in terms of other operations. If you're doing reciprocal, you're looking to find a number you can multiply it by, and it equals out to 1, which is the sort of inconsequential value in multiplying because it, gives, it leaves you back where you started.